another great documentary that will be airing on the cha channel, uh, not today though, uh, later on, is um, that uh, documentary about who killed the judges. And um, please make sure you make a date. We'll bring you the preview as well and do some analysis on it later on when it's premiered on the channel. Ike Captain Kujuchi Kata G. Monifi no Feno Ijake Leji Unupa Niko National Chief Security no No he wole no Feno Ni Afiole Le Kon Mifi Isha Mifi Isha Mifi Isha Yehua Ming Pabufai Esa ni Mafi Nakai Noni ake mi a fele. Ehi, she mi fe. Mi fe isha. Ming pa fai. Mi fe isha. Ni wok be gemena ni wala. This account is endorsed by the NRC as it insists that, without official backing, Amata Kwee had neither the capacity nor the means to commit such a heinous crime. The observed behavior of Amedeka at the prisons also confirms that he knew that the oppression was authorized by those who wielded power at the time. It's obvious an operational pass was given for a vehicle carrying at least three superior court judges, which meandered through almost 50 kilometers journey from their residence at Ridge to Bundase near Afinya. Well, the head of security then, Captain Chikata, agrees that the men indeed abducted the judges and has some form of clearance, even though he couldn't say who authorized it. The operational pass is issued from the operations department of PNDC headquarters. And it is normally issued by the, office, the operations officer or his deputy or the officer who will be on duty if there is an emergency. Those are the only people who can issue the operational pass. Officer, you are referring to army officers, I suppose? Oh, yeah, military officers. Oh, I see. The police also have uh, their own uh, system of issuing uh, operational passes, and I believe that uh, it will follow on the same lines. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, I have in my this um, question relates to the vehicles that the, the convicted uh, prisoners used in carrying the, the, the people that they made. And uh, we, it came to our attention that uh, the movement was during the curfew hours and that they had access to operational pass. So I, I'm wondering who might have issued this operational pass to the uh, uh, convicted prisoners for them to carry out this, these hours. The operational pass would have been issued by the officer, the operations officer in PNDC HQ. Is it possible for us to identify a particular officer? If you so see, that we can question. If you see the pass, you will see his signature on it. The officer must sign the pass. The official sequence of events from the NRC as that at a hastily summoned meeting at Gonda Barracks, at which Captain Chikata and Chachi Chikata were present, Rollins sent for Amata Kwe, whom they all knew had carried out the abduction. According to then Attorney General George Akins, Amata Kwe was sent for, and when he came and was told to go and release the captives, he responded that they had finished them, meaning they had killed them. The commission further made this declaration. If Flight Lieutenant Rollins did not have foreknowledge of the murders, he certainly had foreknowledge of the abductions. When the commission confronted Flight Lieutenant Rollins with Justice Aiken's statement on the meeting at Gonda Barracks, he turned to his mentor, Chachuchikata, to get him out. In a written response to the commission, 
He said, what is being described by Justice G.E.K. Akins as containing your letter seems natural enough to me as what may have happened. I would however suggest you cross-check with Mr. Chachuchikata for confirmation. What I find rather puzzling is the mention of the name of the late Amate Kwe by me, seemingly out of the blue. I would suggest that another invitation is extended to Mr. Akins and any other persons who may have been around then, whether or not the late Amata Kwe's name did not emerge as part of the rumors making the rounds. After the deed was done and it became public, Flight Lieutenant Rollins and Captain Chikata went great lengths to distance themselves from the murders. And I tell you, interesting revelations, but there still remains a conspiracy theory out there and all the proceedings of the, the events that took place are still available uh, for people to read. And we also have uh, a version in that documentary, Who Killed the Judges? Well, please make a date with us. Uh, now, though, let's go to Kujay Angsun. Kujay Angsun is on the campus of the University of Ghana. He is also going to bring us some great analysis with uh, Professor Ransford Jampo of the Political Science Department of the University of Ghana. And uh, we would want to uh, take a watch with that great interview that he's about to conduct. Uh, good morning to you, Kujo. Uh, what's the latest? Hello, Kujay Angsun. Well, um, we seem to be getting some bad uh, sound signals there, but we'll restore that uh, signal and get back to you. Uh, we're taking a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 